Viewer discretion advised. Hello, the following video you're about to see can be offensive and does have some, a lot of bad language attached to it. So if you're one of these people that get offensive, you might not want to watch this. And if you happen to be a degenerate fucking parent and you let your fucking kid watch this thing or listen to this fucking public service announcement, well, let me tell you something. It's on you. So sit back, enjoy, and just laugh with the guys from Selfie. All right. Welcome, uh, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Chugga and uh, James Frank and uh, actually a couple of Boston based actors. Started putting together this uh, skit, and we're hoping that you're all nice enjoying it. I mean, you know, when I got a nice house, I thought it was stay at her place. Yeah, this is a nice fucking house. I'm telling you right yeah, now. Nice couch and whatever. Hey, I like this you know? couch. It's nice. Supple leather. Supple it's unbelievable. Leather. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Now, it's not too bad, though, talking to, you know, those folks that are really highly educated, although sometimes they say words that you just don't understand, like exuberance and freaking Excalibur or freaking malicious. You know? Excalibur. Like, wasn't that that fucking, uh, who was that fucking kid? The punk kid that fucking fought out of the stone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fucking uh, King Arthur guy. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Excalibur is. And you know what we need more of? Stones with swords in them. If I walked out of my house into the woods and I see a sword in a stone, of course I'm going to try to yank that thing out. Yeah. No shit. I mean, it'd be fun to be like the lottery. Okay, you're walking down the street. Hey, there's a sword and a stone. Maybe if I pull this, I become the king of this street. This is my street. Yeah, I owned it. You know why? Because magical things happen with a ray of light while I was pulling the sword out and then some music played. And boom. That's what I'm saying. Come kind of south. Yeah. Try to take it. That's how you're the ruler south. Like, uh, what are those things that the you know that the city breakers use there to, to map like the plat and lot of a building? They stick it in like a have like these stones with swords set up on those, so they're landmarks and it's a challenge. And maybe you stab some zombies in it, in the you know, on any occasion. There you go. I was about to say, What the fuck? You know, sometimes, what the fuck I are say you things. saying? Yeah, I didn't even know what I was saying. What are you saying? Not good things. In fact, you should just erase what I just said from your memory for life. It never went to my memory. I don't know what the hell you were saying. Good, because I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Until the zombie part, I, I had no clue what the fuck you were saying. Yeah, I just, sometimes this happens, and in here, there's like a guy dancing. It's, it's not, it's not happening. Anyway. 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 Take a sip of my coffee. You know what I freaking love? It's What's freaking that? coffee in New England, especially in South. No, you can't can't get any better than that. Nah, caffeine, freaking caffeine. I don't understand my aunt, man. She got these fucking coffee cups. Irish eh? Scottish fucking coffee cup. Let's go. Yeah. In Ireland? No, oh, it's Scotland. 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 When was the last time you were to fucking Ireland? I never even looked at the map of Ireland. I had a joke once about Ireland. Yeah, well, you know, if you're uh, if you're rushing into Ireland, rushing out of Ireland, what do you while you're in Ireland? European. No, no, it's bad. It's all bad. I'm gonna erase that one from any. I, I fucking, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I just fucking got ten fucking times more dumb. See, I can't even talk right after listening to that stupid ass fucking joke that you fucking come up with. I, I apologize sincerely, sir. I I will leave if you make a pun for me. I got to look outside and make sure no fucking fuck, no assholes are coming over here to fucking try to kill us or there there in that stupid ass fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, well, they happen. That was the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. Really? Yeah. Really? Besides fucking uh, that know, other thing I said about the sword and the stone. Place. See? <laughs> I didn't even remember that <laughs> thing because I, I totally took it out. I was trying to get it in there. Ah, that's gross. So later on while you're at work, you'll be like, remember that stupid shit that I can't get out of my head? That's fucking gross. I can't talk about that shit at work, man. They kick my ass. Well, they yeah. really would. Fucking 15 guys fucking sitting there with fucking 
Sledgehammers, fucking talking about that shit. What the hell? What are you doing with sledgehammers? Construction, bro. Oh, I fucking construction. I don't know. Maybe like. End up fucking closes. burying motherfuckers. The, your flat grave. You know what I mean? It, oh, very good dummy, you don't fucking dig the grave of the sledgehammer. Oh, I think. I mean, construction, asshole. Somebody has a fucking backhoe. Oh, I thought you were just gonna like fucking fuck sledgehammer a you? guy into the ground, so it'd just be like a flat human stain. You ought to be the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met. Goddamn life. Yeah. It happens sometimes. You know what they say about dumb guys? No, it's flat. Sometimes they're fun guys. I bet just that basically just means that they're fun guys. That's totally ridiculous, Gary. I just can't recant it. I heard it. It's in the fucking memory bank. But it's recanted. It fucking yeah, but it fucking just got scribbled onto the fucking notepad. So now I fucking heard it and I know it. No, but it's like if I say that word like. I recant that statement, it recants the statement. It's just kind of like if you say no offense and then you say something really offensive, it's okay. That is awesome. That is so awesome. I tried doing that to my boss. I said, no offense, but you're an asshole. What'd he say? What'd he say? Took offense. Uh, he, why? He didn't even say that. Took offense. I, 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 I tried not to. Ah, shit. My aunt's coming home. I, begin, I, I saw the door swing open and then it shut again. You didn't know I told you to come over here and fucking have some beers. We're going to have beers later. Yeah. But fucking, yeah, so he took offense. He got pissed off. I was like, fuck. You know, what are you so mad about? You know, I said no offense. No offense, you're an asshole. Yeah, that's fine. It's good. I think he's not really offended. I almost got fired. Well, but you didn't get fired because he wasn't really offended. I almost did, though. Because he got offended. He appreciates it sometimes. Deep down, you're the guy that tells him the things that nobody wants to tell him because he's the boss. Right. Yeah. Man, it's a healthy I'll, thing. You I'll just you, call it as it is. I'll tell you straight up. Yeah. You're an asshole, you're an asshole. You're a prick, you're a prick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That happens. That's just the way it is. Potatoes, potatoes. And you know something? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm not trying to be offensive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about Jersey. Like, oh, so yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Jersey. Catch me. Hey, now, fucking watch out. <laughs> Almost got my tongue cut out on that one. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> watch out, bro. I don't know. Yeah. It kind of works. I like God better. Hey, shut the fuck up, guy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway, he got offended. Well, you know. You know, just like when you talk about the goddamn Italians. All them fucking Italians. You can't talk about the Italians. God forbid you talk about the Italians. Oh, God. Jesus. They happen to be part Italian. Never than your pot gay. I'm not pot gay. You have to be pot gay. Why you gotta bring gay up? Oh, come on, man. I mean, j- just look at it. You gotta be gay. What's the problem with being gay? <sighs> I ain't saying there's a problem with being gay. All I'm saying is, if you're pot Italian, you're pot gay. Well, are you referring to gay in the sense of the definition of happy? No, I'm not. Okay? Well, how do you get there from Because, Italians? let me tell you something, okay? A nationality that makes a round thing with cream filled in the middle... And you just, it's gross. It's absolutely gross. You ever eat a fucking cannoli? I, I will never eat a fucking cannoli in my whole entire life. Oh, fucking finger looking good guy. See, that's gay. That's, that's not, gay. That's like a White chef White cream thing. filling, fucking round thing. You put it in your mouth. <laughs> that's fucking hot. <awesome. laughs> but it tastes so fucking up. good. I think I just threw up my mouth. Oh. I just throw up coffee in my mouth. If it you want gross. to make you think of something else gross, I could pretend to be like a little baby bird and you could feed me. Like, ah, like I'm a baby bird, and you like throw up into my mouth, like, caw, 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 caw. Now, that, that is some weird animalistic, semi homosexual kind of statements there. But a cannoli made by an Italian guy, that's like art. Freaking art guy. People who make cannolis, they're like Michelangelo scribbling away on a freaking, you know, lovely little. Yeah, a gay Michelangelo. Hey, I'm gonna make this round thing that you gotta hold, and you're gonna shove it in your mouth, and some white cream film's gonna come out. I just don't see any problem. That's gay. Gay, bro. Well, then gay. I love it. Gay guy, gay, I gay, gay. love it. Man. All right, let's move on before I throw you out my aunt's house. All right. You sure. should you should be less, uh, more open. 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 No? Disgusting. You are disgusting. You're the most disgusting human being I think I've ever seen in my life. I think I'm an open-minded human being from Southie who is trying not to be a stereotypical degenerate. 
Oh, so now we're degenerates. I didn't say you were degenerate. I just said that there are degenerates out there, and I'm trying not to be one of them. Oh, like you, Whitey Bulger would. Is he would have one of his gang members come down here, drag you the fuck out of my aunt's house, and I'd be sitting there like, and I wouldn't do shit because I'd be so scared out of my fucking tree that I would fucking dump in my pants. And after you got drugged out and fucking murdered, I would fucking have to go to the fucking trash, dump my underwear in the dumpster, and fucking just be like, what the fuck just happened? All I gotta say, bro, is fear profits human nothing. And on that note, we are going to have to end this little skit. The skit will end approximately now.